Well, hello friends. What a big difference a week makes. So this is a story time if you guys watch my plan with me. You wouldn't know this from last week because I was laid off from my job, not last Friday, but the Friday prior. So what I'm talking about is Friday the 2nd, I was actually laid off that morning. So my plan with me that I filmed for this week I actually filmed early that morning on Friday. So I obviously had no idea about that and kind of just went along with my plan with me. I still posted it on Monday, but obviously plans definitely changed. So here's a look back at this past week of what's going on. Tonight is Thursday. I have some friends coming on Friday and an appointment to get to and a couple of other things I need to take care of on Friday before the weekend. But I just wanted to get this over with. Um, this is not a fun plan with me because now I get to rip all of these work things out of here, which like totally sucks. But you know what? I'm moving on to other things. My position apparently was eliminated after almost nine years of being with the company, so that just really sucks balls, if you ask me. But anyway, I am still keeping my job at um, the menswear place, so I'm gonna put that in. And actually, give me just a second, I forgot to grab my schedule for that. I need to go get that. All right, I am back, and I'm gonna put in my stuff for the weekend. Oh, before I do that, I always forget to do this, like, undo stuff. There's always a link below for this undo stuff. It just takes the sticker off very nicely as well as the washi because I'm not, I don't ever watch TV anymore and I would rather work. So yeah, I'm sure you guys probably have a lot of questions about the layoff. I don't really know why that happened, but whatever. Um, as far as I know, they haven't laid anyone else off in the company, but like I said, it's Thursday, so who knows what's going on. I'm, you know, it's not my problem anymore. And I really care about everybody that works there and I wish them well. And, you know, I hope that they don't have to do this to anybody else because this just really, really sucks. And oh, let me tell you guys the most crummy thing out of it. So as you know, last week, if you watch my Plan With Me videos, I was looking for apartments and I signed a lease on a brand new apartment for a year and they wanna legally hold me to that lease. So what sucks is that Fargo does not pay as much as the Twin Cities, which is where I'm originally from, so like Minneapolis, St. Paul, and I've been looking for jobs here and they just don't pay as much. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm pretty sure, well, as of making this video, I'm like 99% sure that I am actually gonna be going back to the cities and I'm just gonna try to find some employment there because honestly, like I said, Fargo doesn't pay anything um, compared to what I got. So it's just, it's such a slap in the face and such a demotion that, you know, it just doesn't seem like the right thing to do to, you know, make half of what I was making before just to live in a place that I don't necessarily wanna be. I don't know, it just seems really silly to do that. So anyway, um, I am going to, let me count here, two, one, two, oops, one, one two, three, okay. It takes me about four hours to get to um, Minneapolis from here. So anyway, I'm just going as a please here. Um, but anywho, so I am going to be going back to Minnesota. I'm going to stay at my parents' place for a little while. Like, I don't want to stay there too much, but, you know, it's just temporary. And um, I'm just going to look for jobs from there. I mean, I don't know what else I can do. And unfortunately, I'm going to be held liable for all of that 12 months of rent that I won't be here for. Um, I've looked at the legalities of it. There's no way for me to get out of the stupid lease. If any of you are lawyers and want to see my contract, I am more than willing to send it to you. I don't know how to get out of this thing. But um, but yeah, I mean, it just, it just really sucks. It sucks for everybody. It sucks that they had to do that. I mean, I know we had been slower at work and everything, but um, yeah, there was really no, you know, nobody in the company except for the people making the decisions really knew about that. You know, and it kind of sucks that I don't work in that office, so, you know, they couldn't really 
give me a heads up to be like, oh, you know, Emily, maybe you should wait on, you know, signing a lease to a new place and a place that you don't necessarily want to be in. And, you know, they didn't, they didn't say anything to me. So I, I don't know, but whatever. That's where the cookie crumbles. I'm moving on. So are they obviously. So yeah, I guess that's the way life is sometimes. It just kind of stinks, but I have a very, trying to have a very positive attitude about it. And, you know, I've reached out to lots of friends on Facebook and other social media. And honestly, it seems like there's a lot of really good opportunities for me in the Minneapolis St. Paul area. And that's kind of where, you know, I want to be in a more densely populated area anyways. I mean, you guys know this, we've We've kind of talked about it before. So yeah, I think that is just where I'm gonna land for now and we'll work it out. So yeah, let's see here. So I am working a 10 to five on this day. And for all of you out there wondering, yes, um, I have filed for unemployment like literally filing for unemployment and doing all of that is like a full-time job. It is no joke, y'all. Um, yeah, it's intense. So I don't wish this upon anybody. This totally sucks, but um, I am still able to work at my part-time job in the hours that they have offered me, which is great. Um, they only have part-time available, which is just fine. So I've already gotten that like approved and stuff through my claim essentially but yeah i don't know just everything about this just sucks like i don't want to be talking about it but i feel like i need to address it because you know i kind of have to you guys are going to be like what emily you only have one job now well i guess i have two if you consider youtube a job but um you know youtube ain't paying the bills y'all just gotta say that but it ain't paying the bills so yeah um okay and then i have my chiropractic appointment at 7.45 on Monday. So let's get that started. I think I'm gonna use some of these guys. Let's see. I don't know, I'm kinda like trying to match this. I don't really know why, but I kinda think that these are cute. Why not? All right. So I am gonna be going back and forth to um, Cambridge quite a bit. You guys are gonna be seeing that in my plan with me is, um, you know, because I'm gonna be moving there for, you know, like on a temporary basis, I'm just gonna be going back and forth and trying to move as much as I can. My actual move date, I think, is going to be on the 26th, I think. I don't really know yet. I think it's gonna be the 26th. I haven't really figured that out yet, but I'm, I'm figuring that we can do this. I just don't know. Um, I have a storage unit so I can store some of my things. I'm not keeping everything. I actually, that's part of my like to do's on here. I'm actually gonna use my to-do list, you guys. It's gonna be amazing. Um, I'm just gonna say, so post pics on Craigslist. All right, I'm also gonna do another post pics on Instagram. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my post about losing my job. I am gonna be getting rid of some planning things. Um, these are not things that are like bad or anything. These are just things I have a lot of access of. So there's gonna be some Chrissy Ann designs. There's gonna be possibly some Erin Condren products. There's just gonna be like a random assortment of things. And um, I'm normally a huge like fan of giveaways, but being in this specific financial situation that I am in, um, I am going to sell them and then um, I'll be accepting PayPal. So um, I'll probably be doing some of the posting actually this weekend, but I might be doing some of it um, during this week as well. I just wanna make sure that I have like access to Instagram and to my PayPal account so I can um, ship some stuff off to you guys as well. So I'm gonna you know, try to get most of that stuff uploaded um, this weekend, but if not, I'll probably be doing some sprinkles throughout the week. So. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go home on Friday. Um, let me see, because I want to have a few 
days in between that I can come back for. Oh gosh, this whole like driving back and forth is like kind of stressful, but you know, what do you do? Um, actually, I think I might come back Thursday, have all day Friday here, and then Saturday, Sunday, I work. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna come back on Thursday, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, so I'll leave in the morning because that's usually easier on my system, I feel like, if I just leave in the morning and then come back, you know, later or whatever. Oh, jeez. Come on. All right. So that's that. Gosh, this road washi does not do very well. Okay. So this one is going to say Fargo, but let me try to keep it halfway consistent. And we'll use the correct pen. Come on, Emily, get it together here. Okay. So going back to Fargo on this day. And then hopefully while I'm in town, I can follow up and do some interviews or follow up with some people about some possible jobs in the cities. Um, got a lot of good feedback on Facebook about possible leads and stuff like that. So yeah, hopefully that will be good. And then on Friday, or actually Sunday, I need to post my eligibility for unemployment. So I'm just going to write down online unemployment. Um, we actually just have to like go onto like a server online and then just every Sunday post about the week prior that you like went and you looked for jobs and you know where you went to and then I don't know if they follow up or they just take it as it is I don't I don't really know how that works but um you have to like put in all the information and stuff so I just have to do that online on Sundays okay this got all messed up I'm gonna do another sticker because this is not working online unemployment okay that fit a little bit better wow okay and then i will do that in the morning that day okay so online unemployment and i'll put a little don't forget on the top okay perfect all right i think that is good for there and i do want to put in a birthday since i'm doing kind of like a yellow and peach you know peachy pink theme i'll do a yellow all right it's my cousin's birthday on wednesday so i will send him a text on wednesday these just help me remember remember the times okay so i can get rid of that one and then actually a closet purge i already did one but i did not film it because i was so like flabbergasted about everything and just honestly wanted to go through stuff because I was in a serious purgy mood. So yeah, this is a super short plan with me. Oh, you know what I want to do is I want to put like some of this on the bottom just for fun. Let's see here. Um, oh, and if you guys are wondering, I got this actually, both of these washies, they came in a set together and I got them both from Michael's a while back. Actually, it took me quite a while to find this washi. Um, and then I and then I waited till it was on sale because, you know, I'm cheap like that. But let's put this at the bottom because I feel like now that I don't have like a normal job, I am not, you know, up here isn't my void hours. Sometimes I have to do stuff like super early in the mornings now. So yeah, maybe I'll do it at the bottom. I don't know. Let's switch it up, you guys. You know, it's kind of fun to switch up your stuff once in a while. And then, oh, I haven't shown you guys like, well, I did show you guys last week, but I haven't like explained last week at all. There's been some interesting things last week. Okay. We will go into that in a moment. Okay. So that looks cute. Maybe I'll put like my dinners or something down there. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But okay, let's actually get into like last week. Oh, sorry, my lights are kind of going already. Jeez. Um, so last week, two dental appointments. It sucked so bad. So this dental appointment, I had seven fillings. Yeah, seven. And that was only on one side of my face. You guys, it has been a long time since I've been at the dentist, like probably over a decade, maybe 15 years. 
I mean, I've been to the dentist, but the cavities haven't been that bad. And then now they're like, okay, well it's time. And my insurance runs out at the end of the month. So I'm like, all right, let's just do this thing. So did my fillings on Wednesday, got that done. And that lasted till like 6.30. And then I had one of them, they weren't sure if I was gonna need a root canal and a crown, but I did on only one of them. So I came back on Thursday morning at 8 a.m. when they opened and got my root canal and my crown done. So I am officially a princess. I have a crown. So yeah, actually, since I'm in here, um, I'm gonna put this little monkey with its hands over its face because that's kind of how I felt during the whole procedure. But I will tell you, the root canal and crown was not nearly as painful as the whole left side of my face on Wednesday, which was all the fillings. I don't know why that was. Maybe it's because I felt like it was gonna be as bad as that. I don't know. But um, but yeah, uh, this is like what I'm doing today. I submitted some health insurance information. I did an online job hunt. I applied for a bunch of places online. And now I'm doing a plan with me video. So that's what we're doing now. And then hopefully I'll get that edited and uploaded tonight and then have it scheduled for Monday. And then to this bleh, tomorrow night, I can't even talk, uh, the Ludacris concert is in town. So my friends Amanda and Liv are in town for the weekend. So we are gonna have some fun. Um, they are leaving on Sunday and then I am working my second job on Sunday. So um, they're leaving Sunday morning to go back home. So yeah, I'm sure this will end up getting filled up. I wanted to be free on Saturday. So now I am 100% free, which is kind of nice. So sorry that this plan with me is like super boring, you guys. Um, you know, follow me on Instagram for more like updates and things like that as to like where I'm going, what I'm doing. But like I said before, I'm gonna be doing a lot of traveling from, you know, Minneapolis to Fargo and lots of crazy things in between. I will be posting very soon, if not already some of my Instagram planner sales items. So make sure to check that out if you would like. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's kind of a downer video for a Monday if you guys are watching on a Monday, so I do apologize. Um, things are looking up. I'm excited about the future. And now after I film this video and upload and edit, I will be packing. So yay! Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more videos from me. I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. All the sticker shops that I used, plus sometimes there's sneaky little coupon codes underneath there for you, will be in the description box below, so check those out for sure. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye, guys!